whole thing. Thank you. The documentary The Vietnam War is being billed as a rare cultural milestone, at least for veterans of the war. In any kind of historical presentation, you've got to have 25 or 30 years perspective. Filmmakers Ken Burns and Lynn Novick have been planning the series since 2006, meaning their production process for the series is about as long as the declared conflict. It was obvious that they could pick us up on their radar. I remember my knees shaking, and I was saying, holy smokes, I'm going into war. It's designed to be intense. And I was just performing what I was doing. And then I got hit. Maybe too intense for some Vietnam vets. Henry Peterson is a chaplain at the VA in San Diego. He counsels people with PTSD. He surveyed them to find out who will be watching. Some are going to watch it, few will. It could uh, bring back some memories that they don't want to uh, deal with. And again, it may surface some things that they may need to deal with. It's the Jero Psychiatric Department. It's Tina May is a staff psychologist at the VA in San Diego, says almost anything can trigger the vivid, aggressive thoughts associated with PTSD. A door slam, the smell of diesel. It can literally be anything, anything that somebody says, the way they say it. News, films, and documentaries are among the most common triggers. I would say that majority of the veterans I work with, they try when their symptoms are high, they're actively avoiding any media. Vietnam vets are particularly vulnerable. Most were not treated early. PTSD treatment evolved after this group of vets were home from the war. In the 1970s, the VA was often unwelcoming. Society in general appeared at best uninterested in the plight of returning vets. Older Vietnam vets in particular have among the highest rates of suicide. Honestly, we don't know exactly why, but there are there is some research that suggests that one of the reasons is because of the way that they were received when they came back. This group of vets can live for decades with the symptoms of untreated PTSD, like the aggression that feels like it comes out of nowhere. I moved down here in 2010. Larry Taylor is a combat veteran of Vietnam. It affects everyone. I would say my own wife has, has suffered. Uh, post-traumatic stress just in her relationship with me and the war that I fought in. Before he was treated, he coped by avoiding his triggers. He didn't see Apocalypse Now, Deer Hunter, then the original Gulf War blanketed TV. Four, three, two, one, and back. Boom, there's a hit. There's a shack. And a, oh, yeah. As the war raged, so did Taylor's symptoms. Basically, after the Gulf War initiated, my PTSD kicked in. Uh, I would wake up screaming. Um, my wife was wondering what's going on. Um, I was having nightmares all the time during the daytime. Still, Taylor wouldn't seek treatment for another decade. Now he's the chief of chaplain services at the VA in San Diego. He plans to watch the 18-hour long documentary. I think today, uh, I know the difference between a, a bad memory and reliving a situation. And I'm fortunately not reliving things the way I once did. His guidance for vets is don't feel obligated to watch. If you do, find a loved one to watch it with you. Taylor is enlisting his wife of 46 years. In the past, the VA has provided outreach around movies like Saving Private Ryan, for vets who may feel triggered by what they're seeing. This time, the VA is partnering with PBS to prepare to provide counseling for any vet who feels it's time to start working through their own experience with the war. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.